Isabella, a two and a half month old baby with severe club feet. After five plaster cast changes applied by their doctor, the parents were told that the baby would need surgery. The baby's feet are in severe equinus, cavus, adduction, supination, and the heel is in varus. There is a deep crease on the inner aspect of the feet. The ligaments and tendons are very tight, allowing for little correction at the first manipulation. The forefoot is abducted in supination, while my index finger is applied on the head of the tails. A two-inch wide roll of plaster bandage is applied over the layer of cotton. The plaster is molded at every turn following the contours of the foot. The forefoot is abducted in supination while the thumb applies counter pressure over the lateral aspect of the head of the tailors. The thumb continually smooths the plaster over the tailor head. The plaster is extended to the upper thigh. The left foot is a stiff and resists correction. The medial skin crease is deep. The forefoot is abducted in supination while a roll of cotton is applied tightly over the foot and loosely over the calf. Observe that I am holding the foot in supination and abduction with my left hand while my right thumb is over the head of the talus. This corrects the cables and reduces foot abduction. The heel is not touched. A plaster bandage is applied over my fingers that are holding the baby's toes to prevent crowding them. The foot and heel are carefully molded while rolling the plaster bandage. In the finished plaster cast, observe that the feet are supinated. The plaster over the toes is trimmed off. Five days later, after removing the first cast, the baby rests on the mother's lap while the feet are manipulated. The cavus is improved by abducting the forefoot in supination while applying counter pressure over the head of the talus. The same corrective manipulation is done on the right foot. The medial crease is still deep. Pressure is never exerted on the heel. The manipulations are gentle. The baby does not cry. Now the baby is placed on the table. The plaster cast is applied while I'm holding the forefoot in supination and abduction. The heel is well molded. In the finished second plaster cast, the four feet are still kept in severe supination, needed to continue the correction of the cables. When the second cast are removed, we see the feet improved. The feet are manipulated again. The forefoot is abducted in some supination, while counter pressure is applied on the head of the talus. The third plaster cast is applied while the foot is abducted with the forefoot in some supination. The baby goes to sleep while the plaster sets. The feet are held in some supination. Five days later, after the third casts are removed, the feet are quite improved. Again, the feet are abducted in some supination, placing the thumb over the head of the talus.
Now the fourth casts are applied holding the feet in 30 degrees of abduction. The legs are not externally rotated. A bottle of milk relaxes the baby. After the fourth cast are removed, the feet are quite noticeably improved. The cables is now corrected. The feet are manipulated again and plaster cast applied in 50 degrees of abduction while the plant reflection is being reduced. The casts are well molded and hold the feet in 50 degrees of abduction and the feet are not pronated. Five days later, after the fifth casts are removed, the feet are corrected except for the equinus. The dendo Achilles is tight. After applying a betadine prep and under a skin anesthesia, the tendo Achilles is percutaneously severed in both feet. The last plaster casts are applied holding the feet in 70 degrees of abduction and 15 degrees of ankle dorsiflexion. The arches of the feet are well molded. The baby was not bothered by this minor surgery. After the tenotomy and with the last cast on, baby and mother returned home to Idaho. Three weeks later, the casts are removed by their doctor. There are no scars on the corrected feet. A foot abduction brace is worn for three months full time and for three years whenever the baby sleeps. At six and a half months of age, Isabella's feet look normal. The feet are limber. At 14 months of age, Isabella walks well. Her feet are functionally normal. To prevent a relapse, she wears the abduction brace at night. At three years of age, Isabella jumps on the trampoline. She easily crawls on the parallel bars. And she dances gracefully on the balance beam.